Hi, I'm Jessica from Star Lashes World and World Beauty University. Today we're going to look at something a little bit more dramatic. This is what I call my Mega Ultra Perfect Line. This is a very advanced uh, set to achieve. Um, you have to calculate the layers, you have to have uh, quite a bit of experience to achieve it, but I hope uh, today will give you uh, the will to try it, okay? And if you have always, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to me, okay? So, we're going to start by building mega volume fans. So for those who don't know what mega volume fans are, mega volume in my book is between 9D and 16D. You do not use 007 to uh, do mega volume. So depending on the company, 003, 004, 005. You can have different ways of doing mega volume fan. Uh, some do it the sandwich method, which is like eight on the bottom or eight on top. Some do it the side to side method, eight D on the side of the natural lash and eight D on the other side of the natural lash. Personally, I think this method doesn't give you a good retention. I prefer doing just one huge 16D fan. So how are you going to achieve this? First of all, we're going to play a little bit with the direction in that set. I'm going to start with a 90 degree direction. So I'm going to build my 16 D fans in a 90 degree direction. Again here, I'm with 90 degrees, up to 90 about the middle of my eye, I'm at 90 degrees for my direction. So now we're talking directions. Now, when I get to the middle of my eye, this is inner corner, or I know this right here, I'm going to start tilting the fans. And even when I build the fans, I have a special method that my fan is not going to be straight. I'm going to build my fan a little sideways. And I'm going to, when I place it on the natural lash, I'm going to give a different direction. So slowly I build my fan a little sideways. And slowly I change my directions. Until the last one is almost touching the skin, like almost lying on the side. There is different names for that kind of styling. 
Some call it swallow. Uh, I call it my mega volume, ultra, ultra perfect line. So then slowly we're gonna change the direction until it's almost to the side. Now, to build my fans, I use the, my uh, speedy volume technique, accelerated, accelerated volume technique uh, right of the strip. And I do really, really, really short bass. So this is for the direction. Now, to obtain the perfect line, you need to calculate your layers. So this is quite a different story. I'm gonna give you an example. You have to really look at your client and calculate how many layers she has. Because from the side, if she has three layers by an inch, in order to achieve perfect line, you need to change the curl you're using. So let's say for example, here, on the bottom layer, I'm gonna use a D12. In the middle layer, I'm gonna use a CC11. And on my top layer, I'm gonna use a C10. If I use the same curl, look what happens. And she has three layers and I use the same curl. So what happens then? Let's say I put a C10 everywhere. C10, C10, C10. Do I have perfect line? I absolutely don't have perfect line. We're looking for perfection now, okay? I'm all about perfection. And there you go. When you change the curl, D12, CC11, and C10. There you go. Now we do have our ultra perfect line. Now, this is from the side. Now, you have to have perfect line from the side and perfect line from left to right. And you have to achieve smooth transition. So this is an example I'm gonna give you. It varies from clients to clients. Again, you always have whatever I tell you you always have to adapt to your client's natural lashes, adapt to the layers, adapt uh, to her features, etc., etc. I can do a mega, ultra, ultra perfect line uh, squirrel, or I can do it dolly or open eye, depending on my client's uh, eye shape. So let's see, if my client has three layers, we're going to do eight millimeters, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 11, 10. So again, you can change. You can go from six to 10, from four to nine, okay? So this is just an example from the sizes. 
just to show you how to obtain um, smooth transition, perfect line with uh, three layers of lashes. But then again, sometimes uh, the three layers are three millimeters, sometimes the three layers are two millimeters. So you do have to adapt to your client's uh, lash line and uh, layers, of course. So here, one, two, three layers. settled and I'm going to put a nine at the end there we go just decided to add nine here okay so this is my client with three layers So what you're going to do to obtain smooth transition, it's going to be, you're, you're going to start the, let for example, the section with eight millimeters. You're going to start it, but before you finish it, you're going to introduce the nine. So we carry over the nine. So here, we're going to have a nine. I'm going to try to explain it kind of simple to you, okay? Here, I'm going to carry over the 10. Here, I'm going to carry over the 11. Carry over the 12. Carry over the 11. Carry over the 10. Okay? So let's say... So these are millimeters, of course. I start with C. In my small corner, I start with C, okay? Even look, I'm gonna add seven. So this is seven C, seven C, seven C. I never use D in a, really the first section. I find they're too short. It doesn't really look good, okay? So I start with C. Now, here again, I'm gonna do C. Now I'm gonna start to mix it up. So let me take a different color so you can see properly. So my nine on top is the weaker curl. So I'm gonna have nine C. Ten. Let me put another color so you don't know what I'm I'm talking about. 10 C C and 11 D. Okay? Now, here I do the same thing. 9 C 10 C C because I carried it over, so it's the exact same thing. 11D. Now here, I carried over the 10. So I'm gonna do 10C. 
Here is 10C again. So after 10C, I want to change the curl and change the curl again. So what do I put here? I'm going to put 11CC. And here, I'm going to put 12D. This is the whole line I carried it over. So the whole line here is going to be the same thing. 12D. 11CC. Here are my section 11. Section 11, I carried it over. So here is 11C. 12 CC 13 D the whole line I carried it over in my 10 so it's 13 D 11 C 12 CC and the same thing goes here I carry my 12 over in my 11 so before I finish this section, I'm going to start with my 12. So I'm going to have 12C on top, always this, the weaker curl on top. Then 13CC and 14D. So basically, my lower level is always D. My middle curl is always CC. And my top one is always C. Now we were building 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now we're going down. But we still keep the same thing. Now we're going to carry over the 11 because we're going down, but we want to go down with a smooth transition. So 11, I go my weaker curl on top, so 11C, 12CC, 13D. Now here, we carry over the 10, 10, C, middle, I have 11, C, C, and then I have 12, D. Always the stronger curl on the bottom. I carried over here, so here is the same thing, 12, D. 11cc and a 10c. Here I carried over my 9, so here is 9, 9c, 10cc, and 11d. Now when I get to, cor go to the corner, I don't mix it up. And if there's only not if there's not a lot of layers, I'm just gonna use C. So this is 9C, 9C, 9C. So you have to remember when we do perfect line, you're gonna change the curl in order to have perfect, perfect line. Change the curl and change the size. So let's say in the middle section, I add 12C, 13CC, 14D. So anywhere else, I change the curl. 10C, 11CC, 12D. So I do not recommend when you just start doing volume, just practice, practice your fan, but when you're ready, when you have a little bit more experience, this might be something you'd like to try. 
do not uh, find somebody who has like too many lashes or it's gonna take you forever the first time. Uh, I, so I encourage you to try this beautiful map perfect line and uh, I would like you to send me some pictures. I would love to see your work. And don't uh, forget, if you have any questions, you can always reach out for me. Um, you can find uh, my uh, Facebook, Instagram, everything else at the end of this video. So happy lashing. Looking forward to see your work. Bye.